The Great Sphinx of Giza was assembled over 4,500 years prior, in a real sense a large number of years before photography was designed in 1826. From that point forward, swarms of photographs of the Great Sphinx and the Pyramids of Giza have been taken by individuals who came from all the edges of the world to see these lofty landmarks for themselves as a piece of what is accepted to be the principal set of photos taken of the sculpture. Maxime Ducamp snapped a photograph of the Great Sphinx, with the pyramids obvious out of sight, in 1849. By then the chest region of the Sphinx had without a doubt, as of late, been uncovered. Another photo taken in 1860 uncovered that further unearthing had revealed much a greater amount of the sculpture. Today, the whole Sphinx is obvious, including its tail that folds over the back and stretches to its correct back paw. Just the nose, accepted to have been a meter wide, is absent from the sculpture.